Question 11. The equation of a curve is given by y is equals to x squared. Using the trapezium rule with four strips, estimate the area enclosed by the curve. y is equals to x squared. The lines x is equals to 1, x is equals to 5, and the x-axis. So we're given the limits from x is equals to 1, uh, x is equals to 5. So what we need in order to use the trapezium rule, we need to know the height that you're going to use for each of the trapezia each of those strips what height are we going to use from x is equals to 1 all the way to x is equals to 5 and to do that to get the height that you're going to use we take the the difference in the interval from x is equals to 1 to x is equals to 5 so we take 5 subtract 1 divided by the number of strips required and this will give the height of 1 so meaning uh, if we prepare a table of values from x is equals to 1 to x is equals to 5, you're going to use the height, the uniform height of 1. So let us prepare the table of values. So this is x, this is y. So from 1, the height is uniform to 2, to 3, to 4, to 5. The interval of the height is 1. Then from there, we can use the function to get the values of y. So when x is 1, what is y? We're using this function, y is equals to x squared. So in order to get the y, we simply need to square the x. So for y, when x is 1, 1 squared is 1. Then 2 squared here will be 4. 3 squared will be 9. 4 squared will be 16. 5 squared will be 25. So you can call these uh, the first uh, value of y to be y0. This is y1. This is y2. This is y3. And this one is y4. We are using the trapezium rule. So this is the trapezium rule. Area using the trapezium rule is given by this formula. Half, height, then the first height that is y0 plus the last which is y4 plus twice the middle or the middles from y1. You add, you get the sum of these, sum of the middles. 1 plus y2 plus y3. Those are the middles. So let us substitute them in this formula. So we have half times the height is 1, then y0 is 1 plus the last, which is a 25 plus twice. The middles are y1 is 4, y2 is 9, y3 is 16. That is equals to half times 1, this will get to half. Then 1 plus 25, you get 26. Plus, we add these 4 plus 9, that is 13. 13 plus 16, that is 29. 29 times 2, that will give 58. Then we have half, multiply by, get the sum. 26 plus 58, you get 84. So half of 84 will give 42 square units.